Welcome back to Power Gamers. I don't know what this level is. Oh, Engines Lab. Because it's um, like an engine. Oh. Oh. Well, we've, I think we've already established that's the thing about yeah. his name. And Dingo Dial is a dingo and a crocodile. Even though he looks enough fucking, like he looks nothing yes. like a dingo. Yeah, he does. He's brown. Let's have a look at him. There but he is. Looks nothing like a dingo. Dingo's like dogs. He has a cow's face. No, he has a dog's face. Why is he mean What to dingo dogs dial? have you seen with that face? Dingo Dial. Definitely not ones in Crofts, I can tell you that for nothing. <laughs> well, that's maybe true. I didn't say he's a purebred. <laughs> Come on, why do you have to be so judgy about these things? What? Do well, I believe that dogs should be pure. No mud blood dogs. <laughs> wow. No Pokemon's for No dogs. mud blood hounds. <laughs> eh? <Hey? laughs> terrible. Shut up, it was amazing. It, it was alright. I mean, I <laughs> crashed his dive. It's funny. Um, uh, I feel like we should talk about all dogs go to heaven. No, we don't. We don't need to talk about all dogs go to heaven because at all. Because it makes Connor cry. It doesn't make me. It make okay. It makes. <laughs> it doesn't make me. Cry, it makes me cry. Okay, oh, I'm not even gonna. Okay, yeah, I cry like a little bitch when I watch all dogs go what, to heaven. What part exactly makes you cry? What part do you think makes me cry? I don't know. You I want you us. to have a look. Pretend I've never told you the story before. Oh, okay. And you're thinking about all dogs go to heaven, right? I haven't watched. What it part ages. of the movie? Do you think might make me cry? Mm, let's think. Um, is it the bit when he um, does something funny? No. I can't remember anything about okay, that well, film. Okay, well, apart it probably, from probably... <laughs> I, I guess when he goes to heaven. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that stuff shit is heart wrenching, but, man. But he comes back. It all dogs go to heaven too. No, but he's Charlie Sheen then. He's not Burt Reynolds, <laughs> and he doesn't come back to the little kid. He just comes back down for something. I can't remember. It was a piece of shit. That movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was like typical animation, sequel. like sequel, terrible, straight to v VHS bullshit. Yeah. Well, there, there have been decent animated sequels like Toy Story 2. Well, like, not straight to um, tape, though. So it's never straight to DVD anymore. <laughs> it's straight to tape. <laughs> Ooh, straight to VHS. <laughs> Coming uh, to a home cinema near you. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on. What? What? Okay. Well, we now know that all dogs go to heaven make me cry. Makes me cry. Okay. What makes you cry, Josh? What um, movies? And don't you fucking dare say that no movies make you cry. Poverty makes me cry. Uh, mm, movies. What movies make <laughs> okay. you cry? I thought I could use a world problem and. Yeah. No, you can't. Up. You're not getting away with this. I know. Okay. There's a movie out there that makes you cry, Josh. Yeah. Well, there is a film which makes me cry. Well, it's a film which made me cry. I don't think it would make me cry if I watch it again. But the first film to make me cry was Wally. Wally. Yeah. When he um. Wow, what a big old. My God, just a girl who cries in that movie. Right. I did a little bit. <laughs> the bit when he forgets who Eva is is heart wrenching. You that know? is Eve, not Eva. Isn't it Eva? You're thinking of Hitler's wife. <laughs> no. Eva Brown. I, no, I thought it's because how Wally says her name. Though. Eva. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, when when Wally forgets Eve. And it's just so sad because he's just like, love me. And Wally's like, I don't know who the fuck you are, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off, bitch. Like, fuck I've got so many robot whores after me. I don't need your <laughs> shiny white ass. <laughs> he's like, I've got to make all this rubbish. Dude, get out of my face. <laughs> She's just Move, bitch. <laughs> so sad, you know? Yeah, that is pretty sad. Um, is that, that's like the child's version of the notebook, man, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Even though I've no, I, only, I, know I, I just know the kind of the deal with the notebook. Can we've, talk, we've talked about it before. No, we, don't we haven't, because I have no idea what, what the Yes, we about. have. No, I have. <laughs> I don't know. How can we It's talk? the one about the guy, the woman who has, like, Alzheimer's, and then she's all like, oh, no, forget you, okay, Henry. Okay, we did talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we did talk about it, didn't we? Sorry. Are there any others that make you tear up a little bit? Um, There's only three movies I can remember that make me, like, you know, choke up a little bit. Okay. What's up? Nothing. I just realised we forgot to press the timer again. So oh I'm just trying hell. to look at the things. Okay, it's going to hit five minutes in a second. I'm um, just going to wait for it to there's, hit there's three, Okay, so three movies, right? Yeah. The first one I can remember is when I was nine years old and I went okay. to go see Monsters, Inc. What? Oh, is it? Let me guess. Is it when they get trapped in, po in the polar world? No. In the snow place? No. It's when... Sully has to leave Boo and she's all like, No oh, kitty, you're my best friend. She doesn't say it like that because she's a fucking like three year old. She can't say shit. Okay. But you know, she's all like, Oh kitty, I love you. And um, he's like, Gotta go. She's like, mm, Don't go. Then he goes. And I was all like, Oh, they're never going to see each other again. And then I start bawling like a bitch at the end when Mike gives him the last door piece. And he's like, mmm. and He goes and you hear again, like, Oh kitty. How messed up would it be though, right? 
if um like time didn't move in the same way yeah. in the monster world, <laughs> well, he's he like did. you've been away for 15 yeah. years yeah 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 he just opens the door and sees boo get like railed by someone like what no i can't <laughs> it like that she's like 21 and she's just uh being obliterated <laughs> by some like oh, he's like no you've ruined my vision of the kid that i once loved <laughs> didn't mean it like that i meant the fact that she comes back and her parents are like you're five but we're now 15 years older <laughs> oh all that yeah or if she just doesn't remember him, that would have been horrible. Or oh, yeah, what awkward. if she moved house? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the <laughs> monsters don't keep. D oh, they they must keep tabs on where you move, which is really messed up. The <laughs> fact that they're constantly. I don't find the fact that they have to scare us or make us laugh that scary. It's the fact that they have constant tabs on where we live and what our biggest fears are and shit. That's so messed our up. Our biggest laughs. Our biggest laughs. Yeah. I don't, I think I don't think a monster could make me laugh. Well, because I would be I think it's because because. Connor, you are a monster. So, <laughs> I am a demon. No, it's your job. I am a succubus. To, so it's your job to make other people laugh. Is it? Is that? Is that why? Yeah. I'm here? You're like the Sully of um, the real world. You mean Mike? Oh no, but Sully makes people laugh, right? Yeah, but no, Sully becomes Mike's bitch. Oh, is yeah. that what happens at the end? If yeah. The tables turn. I forget. I am. Yeah, that's, it, that's the whole thing. It's like, oh, Mike's the guy. And I really feel sorry for Sully, then. Because yeah, he, because think about it. He's been top dog for like. Whatever, like 15, I don't know how long he's been working there, but a long time. And then just like out of nowhere, Mike, the most incompetent buffoon at that place don't is now like- Don't be mean to Billy Crystal. Oh fuck, you don't even know who Billy <laughs> Crystal is. You don't fucking know who Billy Crystal is, don't even try that shit. <laughs> well, I'm meaning more of the fact that um, he had to like get a, like, a degree to be a scarer and all that. Yeah, that wasted that's... years of his life doing this. It's, yeah, it's, well that's what makes Monsters University a bit like, whoa. Because you know all of those, like half of those guys who were at that uni, their jobs aren't going to be relevant. Yeah, yeah, they're going to they're going to be made redundant <laughs> in the next like 10, 15. Oh, Whoa! Shit. Oh shit! I tried to do a shortcut and I missed and fell oh. off the edge and hit a ball. Is this? Yeah, this is you basically. You ready Rainbow to do Road. another level? Yeah, I'm ready to do another level. I mean, it's it's kind of like Rainbow Road, but it isn't the last track. But it's not as colourful. <laughs> no, no, it's more. Um, Balloons, what they're called. Um, zeppelins? Zeppelins, blimps. thank you. I don't know. I don't zeppelins. know the difference. Zeppelins, zeppelins. Oh, cool. A blimp, I don't know actually. Maybe a zeppelin is one which flies on its own, and a blimp is one which kind of like doesn't. <laughs> you know, the ones which kind of get tethered, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe? yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know the, the subtle differences between large balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit risque. Risque. Well, how does that sound risque at all? Oh, like, you, well, I'm not talking about Dolly Parton, mate. I'm just saying, like, I just don't know the subtle differences. Who's Dolly Parton? The name rings a bell. I feel like I should know who she is. You know is. the one who sings Jolene? What? Jolene. You know, Jolene. Yeah. Jolene. She sings that. She's a country singer and she has a really big fake boobs. Oh, I thought she was, um... I was thinking Carry On. The Carry On film. So what am I thinking of? Oh, Peggy Mitchell. Yeah, but who, who plays her? Barbara... Winters or something like okay, that. Okay, so not Dolly Parton then. Not Dolly Parton. They're completely different. They they just both happen to be old, blonde, big breasticled women. Big breasticled. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever referred to boobs as breasticles before? Um, like never, in never, never girl. in front of a woman. Okay. But then again, I, I oh. rarely, I rarely, if ever, have the chance to call them breasticles. So. Okay. I guess so. But oh, dude. Uh, well, Ugh. like I'm lost at this point. I thought at least I could do is do the show. Yeah, at least make it entertaining. <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Just go the normal way. No, I'm just gonna restart and pass over to you. <laughs> but yeah, they're not they're not the same person. Oh, okay. Right, just to clarify. Barbara there. Winters? I don't know her name. Yeah, um, I'm sure some big carry on fan will correct us. My yeah. dad. My or dad. EastEnders, because she's on EastEnders. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, my, my dad likes carry on films, and I think it's Your a dad has like the weirdest like taste in movies. Uh, not weird, just old. I'm sorry to say. It's fine, I totally agree. I just find carry on films the most cringiest things yeah. ever, right? I it's just, it's yeah, it's one of those things where you know like when, when people are like British humour is like the only like the best kind of humour and you're you like, really? Look, you look Have you watched carry on movies? It's like, oh. Because it's not. It's really not. It makes me sad because it's like But now we're gonna have someone watch this and they're like, You Philistines. <laughs> you call yourselves comedians, you're a piece of shit. Carry on's the best thing ever. <laughs> I don't call myself just... a comedian, just to clarify. No. Connor does. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have get on your high horse, just You're aim the at one Connor. you're the one trying to entertain people. Connor's and make them laugh. um if you have any complaints, Connor's phone number is um uh, 0777 654 Oh, 3 oh, 2 1 oh, oh, and then just followed by ten sevens. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be able to list out your number anyway because I don't even know it <laughs> off the top of my head. I'm you're saying... so I don't know your number off the top of my head. I only know my number. My number. Oh, the number for Pizza Hut. I know. That. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that hundred percent true? That's all. Yeah. As a, I know. I know the numbers for a few, few takeaways. Yeah. So. You... But, okay. I don't know my mum's number off my what? So, I don't even wait. know like, my home number. I used to know my home number, but then they changed it. And guess what? Mum, right? I'm just call <laughs> I'm calling bullshit on my mum right now. And my little brothers uh, okay. didn't tell me they changed the home phone numbers. Whenever I tried to phone them, I just, I just get this weird message that was just like, oh, this number doesn't exist anymore. Exactly and I'd be like, oh, they just don't love me anymore. But more okay. importantly, you know takeaway numbers over your own family. Yeah, because takeaways are my family. Oh. Ever, ever since oh, the okay. home phone debacle, I have I have disowned oh, them. Excuse me. Um, home phone debacle. What do you mean? I literally just told you what I did. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, right. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man! Do you like ever listen to anything I say? What? I feel like we're a married couple right now. But do you listen to anything that I say? Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't. I was. I, wasn't I was. Listening. I was. I was watching the game. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. Uh, what? what? Sorry. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to make a man feel special. I, I try. You know, um, considering I am the man in a relationship, I don't need to do I don't that, think really. if you and I were a thing, I, I think I would definitely be the trouser wearer. No, you're not. No, hey, you're not. ladies can wear trousers as well. Oh, yeah. nice one. Yeah. And what, what's wrong with being the lady, Josh? I'm not saying they're anything. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. There's nothing wrong with being a lady in a relationship. Really? Because you really don't want to be it. You really don't want to be the lady in the relationship. Who says that's to be two ladies in the relationship, Josh? <laughs> you're you such a homophobe. You know homophobe? <laughs> yep, you're a homophobe. I, oh, okay. I, I was going to say feminist. Like, um, not, what's an a anti- Misogynist? Yeah, misogynist. I was like, what? Anti-feminist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, um, yeah. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's a lost cause. It is. Um, it's like, yeah, sometimes with a lot of ethics uh, arguments, you just gotta just let it go because you're not gonna win. Let it go. Let it go. I don't know how the song goes. Oh, have you never watched I've Frozen? I've still not watched Frozen yet. Wow. Is that like a, a reason for that? Is it like. No, I've just not, never got around to watching it. Okay. It's not. I mean, it's it like did. It did get. Or something. Oh, no. I don't hate things because they're mad popular. But you're I hate things when they're overplayed, like that oh. song. <laughs> is, is Frozen over talked about then, maybe? No, I think well, I think for a while it was, yeah. But like most things, people kind of just realised it was just a thing. Well, they're, they're making I, don't th I think people aren't like getting all crazy about Frozen anymore. You know, well, people cool. like it. They're making a Frozen too. Yeah, but well, what I'm saying is, I don't know it, how you I, can do that, but they're doing it. Why? What happens at the end of Frozen? Well, it's just kind of like everyone is happier for after. It's it's kind well, of. Well, they did it with Bambi. It feel, yeah, it feels. It might like, probably be rubbish. It feels like a VHS straight to straight, <laughs> straight to video, to, straight to VHS home cinema. Yeah, <laughs> home what, cinema release. That's what it feels like, you know. Um, you won. How do you feel? Have you uh, got anything to say about your winning? Easy. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't, like I didn't struggle once, even though like my palms are really sweating right like now. I struggled a little bit actually. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, boy. I only fell off once, though. You fell off like five times. Yeah, I was really bad. But you know, I'm allowed to be bad. You know what? If I only sh if I hadn't drunk all that champagne that one night, I would be popping it open right now. But, oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you buy the champagne to celebrate us moving in, or what? Happened? No, no, no. I got it for my birthday, okay. and then I um drunk it. I, yeah. Well, what I was gonna do, I, I was like, I don't really like champagne that much. I'm gonna save it for a special occasion, champagne. like like us all moving in. And then I realised we weren't moving in for ages. And then one night I got kind of drunk, and then I was like. I need more to drink, and the only thing I had to drink is champagne. Well, champagne. So next time on Power Gamers, we go to Oxide Station. Sorry to cut you off from mid-story. I'm sorry. That was pretty much the end of the I story. Thought it was was I just, so uh, I, thought it'd be okay. I got drunk and I passed out. The end. It's the end of every story. And then I cried. Then I cried. That's... Did you? Did you cry? Just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry.